Hey everyone. This is going to be sort of a supplemental video. Uh, it's not part of our regular series. Uh, it's something that I, I mentioned that I was going to take a look at. We're just going to kill the Elder a couple times uh, to test a few things out. One of the things that's kind of interesting and somewhat unique to this seed is our location. So I'm going to jump right in and show you that. We are situated on the merchant and the elder summoning stone is right next to it. Um, that's awfully close. Here's the, the, the shot. I mean, as soon as I get over in this direction, you can kind of see where the tower starts showing up for his location. Uh, so we're going to test out, we're going to fight him two different ways. One, we're going to drag him over into this location and kind of see how he interacts with Halder's bubble. Does he behave like the regular mobs do? ignoring you when you enter the bubble? Do the tendrils go into the bubble? Do they look like they could, you know, damage you in there? Like, what's his interaction with the bubble? I'm kind of curious to do it. You know, like, a little bit of science going on here, right? Um, I also wanted to test out this, uh, this legendary shield that we got in the previous leading up to this fight against him. Um, I normally don't like tower shields, but I thought I would, I would give it a shot. The other way we're going to fight him is a way that, especially if you're here, kind of going like, well, I just want to watch the boss get killed a couple times, or I've never fought him before, I'd like some tips on beating him. The second way we're going to beat him is we're just going to do a, a standard sort of vanilla burn down, if you will, where you put campfires down. You can you can do it whether you have epic loot, you can do it whether you're playing, you know, whether you're naked practically. Um, so I'm going to jump ahead to where I've got my backup portal set up and I'm ready to summon him and then we'll let the mayhem commence. Uh, the seed is down in the description. The link to the, if you want to check out the whole playthrough that I'm doing, uh, you can check the, the link out down there. That'll be in the description as well. So thanks for hanging and uh, let's get to it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I only really cleared out a, t a tiny little bit because it's, it's not that far to go and um, I, I want to leave a few trees in there anyway because you never know. Uh, but let's just put uh, some seeds here and summon this guy up and I'll equip my spear. I also have a, a, a legendary shield I want to mess around with. That's going to be um, how I mess around with him a little bit in the first fight here. Try to get his attention. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, stand up. Stand up more. Taking an awful long time to stand up. Yep, come on. Yep, you gotta get closer. He's not gonna he's not gonna get me that way. I wanna see if I can get him. Not yet, but he's taking down taking down plenty of trees. I'm gonna get plenty of wood this way. All right, so here's Halder. See him right there. Missed. Yeah, there we go. There's some stones getting knocked down. Come here. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be the. Uh, How's it going? We're in the bubble. Oh, doesn't notice me anymore. Yeah. So the bubble definitely seems to break his attention. Some trees. I don't know that he's gonna... I think he's at the limit of how far he's gonna go away from his... Oh no, he's not at the limit for how far yet. Oh, he's definitely not feeling like walking much further though. Come on, buddy. Get out. I'm doing science here.
Uh, yeah. So this shield's kind of interesting, too. I normally don't use tower shields. But I was kind of curious to see what effect that would have. So it looks like his tendrils... Wait, wait. Shoot some more. Come on. All right, see if this tendril goes in here. Well, he totally turns around. Uh, I'm going to see, though, if I can get him to... If I can see if any... Oh, it looks like they pass. Yeah, it looks like they would pass right into the bubble. Yeah, definitely. So the bubble's no protection. Oops. I'm not doing a good job of throwing at him, am I? Okay, here we go. Kind of want to see how good this tower shield would do against him. Well, it helps if I would block, but, you know. I'm so used to trying to parry. Hmm? That's doing a pretty good job. Well, that one, my back one, was not not a pretty good job. Come on. Want to get my um, blocking about half the damage, a little more than half. I feel like I should be able to run in between his legs, but you know. Well, the main test for that was, uh... I'm just gonna, you know, finish chipping him off. We gotta get, we gotta get out of this... Death trap, though. Yeah. You blocked. There we go. Just let him kind of cook there a little bit. kind of a blending of the other, the burn down strategy. You just kind of put a bunch of, you know, kind of put a bunch of, like, fires underneath him. Wait for that spear to land. Yep. 
You don't want him to stomp, because stomping will put out the fires. Hmm. Yeah. So, um... All the wood. That was an interesting test. Um, you know, a couple magic items here and there. I'm just gonna throw some, throw these pine cones on the ground, grab this other item up. Copper knife, eh, no, nothing great. Um, but that was the sort of a combination. I wanted to test out the shield that I had dropped the previous, uh, previous run. Uh, works pretty good. The regen helps, all the stuff like that. Actually blocked him, you know, like... Like you're tanking pretty well. The plus 30 hit points is no joke when it comes to, you know, taking those blocks. Uh, but the the hauler thing, again, I, I feel is sort of like the cool feature of this seed uh, to be able to get. And, and again, the seed's down in the description. The the link to my actual video series is down in the description. Uh, but the, the hauler feature is the sort of cool uh, element. To that just having him really close to the boss i kind of want to see how it would work so it does seem like you can get him to lose interest in you um I'll grab some of these stones because i'm gonna kill him again uh it does get him to lose interest in you which is interesting and i also noticed when he loses interest in you he turns away from you so his tendrils of death go shooting somewhere else so uh if you had a party uh, multiple people and you kind of want to take them straight up, but uh, if somebody gets, you know, killed or whatever You can have a good spot to respawn at. I don't even think my portal got knocked down. Nope So you can have a good spot to reinforce from Where you're not necessarily gonna, you know, immediately like show up and get shot with more tendrils and die because he he'll ignore you as long as you're uh, As long as you're not there uh, Or as long as you're inside the bubble I'm gonna throw these couple of these items out of the way. All right, I'm back. Uh, dumped my stuff. Got attacked by swamp dudes. It rained. It's good. Good thing we. Good thing we pause it. All right. We're just gonna do this. Oh yeah. So you want to figure out where the guy's gonna land, and then you want to be putting campfires on the ground here. All just nice and down there. And you can start burning. You can start. You can shoot him with a bow. You can throw a. You can throw spears at him, you can do, you know, whatever kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna back up and let him just keep cooking for a minute there and shoot me with some stuff. Uh, I feel like maybe he's not standing. No, he's still burning. Yep. So you kind of want to make sure that he's walking towards you or whatever, that you, you've got his attention and that he's going to work his way over to you. Well, he's not going to do that now. Come on, buddy. Get all that junk, that doesn't matter. Uh, when he gets angry again, like that, like you want to be able to like lure him in. Yeah, come on, get yourself on fire. And hopefully he'll just bake himself like he's doing right there. Pat him around a little bit. So you know he's kind of half dead. If he if he if he does a stomp, that'll destroy the uh, the, the fires. You don't want that to happen. So he's going to summon those things again. Oops. Break some of these down for materials. It's important to have some extra wood on hand. Because you can get the stones back from breaking some of these down. He'll also just... Come on, buddy.
you get the idea. It's kind of how you can just fight him. Uh, if he's not, like I said, if he stomps, he might... Might put some of those out. Oops. Can't, can't, can't get that to light, one to light him up, but... You definitely want to stay away from these, um... You definitely want to stay away from the uh, flailing limbs if you can, or kill them. Otherwise, you know, kind of thing. Eventually they break down, you can kind of see them all just breaking down. He's kind of surrounded by fire now, though. So, whoops. Just kind of slam a damn on my way through the... Break those tentacles up for me. Yeah, well, I'm a little burning a little bit there myself. You know what happens. But you can just you can just whittle him down like this. You don't even need, you know, you don't even need a good weapon. You just need some fire placement skills and you know, vine dodging skills, I suppose. He's trying to kill some of those fires. He's not happy about them now. Let's grab up some. Grab some of those stones back. Wait for him to be mad again, or he's mad again, or whatever, he's summoning junk. Ooh. You definitely don't want to get stuck on anything. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Caught yourself on fire. Good job, I caught myself on fire. So yeah, fire arrows are great for this too. You can just kind of, you know, shoot him. Probably would be nice if I actually, no, I did have him equipped. So, you get the idea. <laughs> My bad. Easy. And then we'll just, you know, collect whatever loot again. Um, I'll get a couple uh, bronze pickaxe. Eh, not not bad for a backup item to have. I already have a bronze drop that, that happened earlier, but... Uh, so there you have it. This was like a, just a little bit of a side video, not advancing the story at all, just killing the Elder a couple times, uh, really mainly to check out the Tower Shield and this Halder thing here, um, which I kind of find to be interesting. Um, long term, you know, it's uh, maybe not something that you're going to be like, oh, you know, I'll do this the whole game kind of thing. Uh, obviously, but uh, it's a very unique feature to this uh, to this particular world seed. Uh, again, seeds down in the description, and yeah, that's it. If you're interested in watching the uh, the regular series, the regular playthrough, I'll be continuing that uh, after I get this video out. But I just wanted to take care of this side business that I had talked about uh, testing. So. Thanks for hanging. Uh, if you, this helped you out and you like it, throw a like down there, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.